My two real hobbies or passions in life are, are really baseball and, and food, and that's kind of it. In 2015, during Mark Canna's rookie year, he cooked up an idea. He'd go off the beaten path in the cities he visits and experience the local food scene. Not the touristy scene, but the, the underground, like, secretive, like, you know, cool, like, hipster scene. Long before Canna was part of the cool hipster food scene, his dad would collect all kinds of food and wine magazines and then experiment with the recipes he found. Was introduced to Thai food and Indian food and I guess I got kind of open-minded from, from a young age. Once Canna made it to the majors and all of its road trips, a friend of a friend talked him into starting a food blog. And the rest was history. Today, Canna's well-followed Instagram handle is called Big League Foodie. He posts pictures and reviews of places he visits and has even caught the attention of manager Bob Melvin. He'll come up to me in batting practice and I think he's going to ask me something about baseball and then he's like, well, what r restaurant are you going to in this city we're going to next? <laughs> Recently, Tony Kemp has started tagging along on some restaurant visits and Canna says he's getting more and more DMs from followers asking for recommendations. All of it has Canna hungry for what could turn out to be a pretty sweet second career, someday when his first career is over. I think that's kind of the goal. If I could turn this into a post-baseball career, I think if I could do something like that, it wouldn't feel like working, you know? <laughs>